I'm trying to think of older people. That Probably out of your my you cousin. Know. Yeah, he he went to college, um, but he still lives in Jackson County. Uh, there were two girls who went to Lindsay, and that's mm -hmm. like in seventh grade they came to talk about Lindsay, like because mm -hmm. when they were in college, and that's one of the reason I reasons I really wanted to come here, yeah, just because yeah. the way that they talked about oh, it. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they're back in Jackson County, so. And any effect you've seen that have on the community? Like, people earning the degree and coming back? I don't really think so, because, like, there's not really jobs there. Yeah, so they're not working. Yeah, like, uh -huh. even and it, like even if they are, they're working outside of uh -huh. Jackson County. Ah, uh, so they're commuting. Yeah. Okay. Like, to Richmond or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Because I think what I'm seeing is that it's like moving and building and growing in certain places, but not others. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm wondering if part of it, would you agree or what do you think about it being a little more remote? Yeah, definitely. You know, versus Berea. Yeah, definitely. Especially because like Jackson County is like so spread out. Like it's a small, like a small community. Yeah. Because we don't have that, that many people. Yeah. Like yeah, the forest is yeah, a large... Like, part of it. Yeah, like the forest is a really mm -hmm. big part of Jackson County. So like when you actually think about it, it takes forever to get from one side of the county to the other side mm -hmm. because of how big it is. Mm -hmm. And so like just getting like the kids that live in like the yeah. back places actually to do stuff yeah. or actually going somewhere, I mm -hmm. think that's a, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Like mm -hmm. because there's not really, like nobody here has ever heard of where I'm from. Yeah. Like, I'm and like, people don't just stop like pass through yeah. normally. I'm like, oh, I'm from Jackson County, and they're like, oh, where's that? And then next to London, uh, where's that? The hell where London is? Yeah. Like some people do, like especially the Somerset. Like, that far. The Somerset kids, yeah. they definitely know, yeah. but like, the people who are from like um, Bowling Green and all that, yeah. they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. they, on the whole other side. Yeah, that's really interesting. I hadn't really thought about that many people from that far west coming here to school, but I'm sure obviously they do. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are really big on like foreign exchange students too. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I don't know what they call, what they're called when they play sports. All America? I don't know. I don't know what they're called. But we have a lot of like sports teams that are made up from people from other countries. Cool. So they definitely haven't heard of where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. They're like, oh, this is Kentucky. That's about as far as I yeah. know. Yeah, like I didn't even know that before. Yeah. yeah. So like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. What has that been like, interacting with people from other uh, I'm from countries? Like, this is going to sound really bad, but from like, I'm from an all-white community there's like barely any like people of color mm -hmm. and so like when I come here like there's all kinds of like different like people and like I'll talk to friends who are from Louisville and they'll be like oh this is this is white like we're from yeah. a white place and I was like what <laughs> yeah, <I'd be> like, <laughs> you see all of these people and they're and people are like yeah like but the majority is white and I was like this is more people like people of color than I've seen in my entire yeah, life yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, and is that important to you? Yeah, I definitely think diversity is really important. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that, like, especially, like, Appalachian, like, they lack diversity. Uh-huh, yeah. What effect do you think that's had? Um, definitely negative stereotypes towards other people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Is that something you heard a lot, or? Yeah, especially, like, growing up, like, a lot, like, a lot of like racist comments mm -hmm. even though like, there weren't any black people mm -hmm. so like especially like when I was a kid I couldn't really be like oh this is wrong because I didn't really know any black people yeah. so I couldn't just be like that doesn't feel right but mm -hmm. I can't argue with you because I don't know if you're right or wrong mm -hmm. so like especially like when I came to like college and I joined things that like people of color are in um, I've definitely been like, oh, that's definitely wrong. Like what you guys said, that's definitely yeah, not now true. Now I know for sure. Yeah, so uh -huh. I think it's just like they develop like these stereotypes, and because they're never around people, they actually think that they're true. Mm hmm Is that something when you go home you you still face? Or? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely think so. Um, especially like. 
Okay, so my best friend goes to UK. Yeah. So um, when we go home, like we'll talk about like our experiences in college, and like our parents will ask us about like what are the black people like? Oh, really? Yeah, and we'll be like oh, like everyone else. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, I'm, I don't think you're right, and like. Especially in Adair County, there's a really big, like, Mexican population. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Do they work on farms or how uh, or? I don't. Know, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I just know that like I met a lot of like people at the GED Center, and oh, like okay. one of my roommates, because we were in like a four person. Mm -hmm. She's actually like, like, from Texas, but like her family Texas. originates in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I just know like she has a really big mm -hmm. family. They all live here. I've seen, like, a bunch of different cool. people on campus that are. And so, like, my parents will ask about it. Like, yeah. what's that like? Yeah. What are they? Are, yeah. are they legal citizens? Like, that's what they'll say. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't ask people <laughs> what they are. Yeah. Um, so I guess just, like, my parents still wonder about those stereotypes. Uh -huh. And even, like, the kids in, like, the community, they wonder about those stereotypes. Uh -huh. Do you have any... Um, or like, what sense of responsibility, if any, do you have to feeling you have to educate them about that? Um, I feel like it, you sh like should want mm -hmm. to, just because like obviously if you understand that something is like their views are like wrong, you don't yeah. want to necessarily like be like, oh, your views are wrong, you need to like change them. But definitely like starting the conversation. Mm -hmm. Because, like, if you just, like, attack someone, their views are always going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. They're, just because you're yelling at them isn't going to, like, change mm -hmm. what they believe. So I think just, like, talking to them about certain stuff is a really good place to start. And definitely if they want educated, that's a big thing. Because, like, if they don't, they're still not going to listen. Mm -hmm. But if you're like, hey, can I talk to you about this and how it affects this? They'll be like, uh, uh, okay, they might be a little reluctant, but usually they'll listen. Yeah. Is that, I feel like that's a really insightful answer for someone in, like, your age, just in experience. Like, people sometimes have to learn that very, very hard way over long Um, time. Bonner is actually, like, really, like, we talk about stuff that other, like, people in, in like, the college wouldn't talk about. Yes. So, uh, in February we had this, we had an all Bonner meeting, which is like where all the Bonners get together, and the Black Student Union came, and we talked, like, even though Bonner is like really like, I don't know the word for mm -hmm. it, we're still like a majority white. Yeah. And so like, we talked about our privilege and how we can talk about like Black History Month yeah. in a positive way, instead mm -hmm. of like this white savior way. Yes. And so, um, we just talk a lot about issues that other people, like, wouldn't really mm. talk about. Mm hmm That's amazing. Yeah, I really think so. And, yeah. And so that's something you'll continue your whole college yeah. career? Yeah. And you'll change your service component every time, or how will that change over time? Um, you, uh, like, service sites, you can go anywhere, so, like, you can change at any point. Um... It's okay. I just didn't know if it would relate more to your major later on or something like that, or if you um, could find something in your area. I know that we do practicum here, mm -hmm. which goes to oh, okay. our majors, and then with the criminal justice, you have to do an uh, internship somewhere okay. that relates to, like, your major. Yes. So, like, I'll definitely do stuff with both of those. Okay. That'll be your senior year or uh, I think, next year? I think it's senior year, okay. yeah. Cool. Um, I didn't mean to get off track because I want to go back to talking about diversity and feeling some sense of responsibility to educate um, because you talked about so like Bonner and those experiences here yeah. have helped you get those skills and perspective of how to do that. Yeah. What about when you actually go try to do it um, at home? A lot of times like especially like the the Okay, like, the friends that I was with, they already agree with me. Yes. So it's just getting people that I wasn't friends with yes. to, like, want to talk to me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because, like, in high school, I was that, like, you're different from me mm -hmm. because I didn't believe the same things that they believed. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like because we were, like, such a small town, like, those feelings of, like, you're different from me never really went away. Yeah. And so it's just wanting them to, like, 
actually 